Bisacodyl. That's the generic name of Dulcolax. This is probably a medication you've given and you will give many times during your career as a nurse, all right? What it's given for is it's given to treat constipation as part of bowel regimen, okay? The way that it works is it works by, it's a stimulant laxative, okay? That's its pharmacologic class, a stimulant laxative. So that word stimulant kind of tells you what it does. What it does, it actually stimulates enteric nerves to cause peristalsis. And this leads to fluid accumulation in the colon, and, and, and this actually gets the bowel moving. So what it actually does is it, it kind of, by stimulating that nerve, it causes peristalsis, and it, it gets everything moving in the colon to treat that constipation, okay? So it's a very simple, simple method of action. It just gets the colon working, and it gets it moving. But it can actually draw fluid into the colon as well. So some things that you need to keep in mind here. Well, first of all, it's a therapeutic class is laxative. Pharmacologic class, like we said, is stimulant laxative. Nursing considerations are that it may lead to hypokalemia. It can cause abdominal pain and cramps, you know, as that as that nerve is stimulated and as we start causing that peristalsis, it can actually cause some cramps. We'll, we'll also want to assess abdominal distension and bowel function. So once we give a laxative, we want to make sure, is it working? Okay, that's an important thing to share with the nurse coming on, that when you gave it, how much you gave, how often it needs to be given, and, and kind of when they need to be expecting the patient to have a bowel movement. Because if, if even after doing this, they don't have any bowel movement, we need to look at other options, okay? We're going to want to instruct the patient to drink 1,500 to 2,000 mils of fluid a day during therapy. And we want to monitor uh, electrolyte levels. This can cause, like we said, it can cause hypokalemia. So we're going to want to monitor our electrolyte levels and see if we're, we're causing any sort of electrolyte abnormalities by stimulating this, by, by drawing this fluid in, and by um, pushing this, this um, bile out. So we're going to instruct a patient to take it exactly as ordered. What will happen a lot of times, especially with elderly patients, is they'll be constipated. And so what they do is is they'll get started on a a laxative. And if they're taking some sort of laxative at home, what they can do is they can start to take it more than they should. Okay. And so they'll they'll take too much laxative and then they end up with diarrhea and then we got to reverse that. And and so it just becomes this huge uh, reversal cycle, one for the other, this huge teeter-totter where we're causing constipation, then we're causing diarrhea, then we're causing constipation. And so you really just want to be careful and you want to instruct the patient to take it as ordered and then to, you know, monitor their, their bowel movements as they should. All right. So that is Bisacodile. This has been another episode of the Med Master Podcast brought to you by MedMasterCourse.com and NRSNG.com. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN, student nurse mentor, and your biggest fan. If you're ready to demolish nursing pharmacology once and for all, head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST to save 15% on lifetime membership to MedMaster Course. MedMaster Course is packed full of 30 plus hours of HD video and audio content with tons and tons of free cheat sheets and downloads. Demolish nursing pharmacology. Never guess a med again. Go to medmastercourse.com. Coupon code podcast. You guys know what time it is now. Go out and do something great. Happy nursing. Happy nursing.